Power chapter 10 and verse 18. It's a little bit difficult verse to understand, and I would recommend reading it in a couple of different translations. And so as we begin to look at this, I think King James is 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 uh nailed it really well. It says here in uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18, it says, he who conceals uh, hatred has lying lips. He who conceals hatred or hides hatred. They're hiding hatred. They're concealing hatred has lying lips or are not being honest is what it's saying right there. You're concealing hatred in your heart. So it says that you have lying lips, but in truth what it's really saying is you're not being honest. You're not being honest with yourself. You're not being honest with others. Instead, you're just trying to conceal that hatred within your heart. And as you're concealing that hatred within your heart, all that's going to do is ruin you all the more and ruin the relationships that you have with those whom hate has built up into your heart. It goes on to the next part. It says, and he who spreads slander is a fool. He who spreads slander is a fool. So if there you are, you're concealing hatred or you're hiding hatred in your heart, you're being dishonest with yourself about it, but you're going around and you're slandering, you're spreading that slander around, you're a fool. You know what the wise thing to do is if you have somebody that has hurt you or harmed you, talked about this last week pertaining to Jesus. But let me get into this personally, with your own personal self. If you have hatred in your heart towards somebody, but you're trying to say, oh, no, I don't. I don't have hatred towards that individual. I don't have bitterness within that individual. I'm not angry at that individual. Think about when their name's mentioned. Think about when that situation that cause that pain and cause that hurt to be either thought about or somebody brings it up. What just makes your blood boil? And you're kind of going over in your mind, well, if I just, you know, could have brought it back and I would have said this and I would have done that and I would have, you know, I would have put that person in their place and I would have just spread that slander. And the Bible says, as a result, you're a fool. But you're continuing to run it over in your mind over and over and over again. You say, well, I've forgiven them. But no, you haven't. You're still replaying it. You're, you're still rehearsing it. Oh, give me the opportunity to have that situation once again. I'll set them straight. This is what I'm going to do. And again, spreading that slander will make you a fool. But you still really have hatred in your heart. You still really have bitterness in your heart. You're, you're trying to hide it. You're trying to conceal it and act like everything's okay. But in the meantime, it is ruining you. It is ruining your relationship with that individual. It is ruining your relationship with God. And that individual that hurt you or did whatever they did to you, they've probably let it go. They've probably forgotten all about it. And it's not bothering them in the slightest, but it's bothering you. So who's the one being hurt? You. So what you need to do is forgive them. Ask God to give you the grace. Ask God to give you the strength. Maybe they don't deserve forgiveness, but guess what? Neither did you and I when it came to Jesus dying on the cross. But we're told to forgive. Jesus has very clearly, very plainly told us to forgive. The Bible also says not to let the sun go down on your anger. So let it go. Release it. Bring about forgiveness. And stop trying to conceal it. Because it's destroying.